why I couldn't compromise and accept the easy way out, uh, so to speak, uh, to, a, to, to walk out of it. For me, it was, it was about the truth. Knowing in my mind and in my heart that the truth was that I didn't do anything. That I was totally innocent. So how could I, in my right frame of mind, to go in and say, I did something that I didn't do. Just for the sake of walking, the truth was more valuable to me. I, 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 my desire for the truth was greater than my own self-interest. Uh, the lawyers used a tactic with me. I had a public defender. Well, he was a private attorney. And he said that Barney won't even talk to me. I'm trying to save Barney's life. Mrs. Claudette, you need to go in and speak to your son. Tell him that the state is offering just three years at a youthful offender facility. He can, he can walk out of this after three years and have no more problems. If you don't persuade him, he's going to die in the Florida electric chair. That's what the lawyer told my mother. She came in screaming and hollering and crying. She said, son, you've got to listen to this lawyer. You have to. They're going to kill you in that courtroom. I said, mama, they're not going to kill me. And if they kill me, they'll kill me for the truth. I mean, do I have to die just for telling the truth? So I, I, I couldn't connect with being punished for the truth. I couldn't connect with going in and lying against myself. Now that was hard for me to do. Maybe I could lie about other things, but lie against myself? I mean, I would have to live with that within me. And I just could not do that. So the lawyer said, well, you know that you're running a risk here. I said, I'll take my chances with the truth. I believe that the truth will prevail. And truly enough, it would take 38 years, but the truth did prevail. So that was my fight, has always been my fight, to just the truth be told.